Thank you, Madam Moderator, and thank you, Christian Church in Kentucky, for the opportunity to serve as your interim and as your transitional regional minister for these past 17 and a half months. It's been my joy to serve alongside all of you. The executive search team has worked diligently toward the call of our next regional minister, and you'll be hearing from them later in this business session. I want to commend the committee and their chair, Corey Wilcoxon, for the work they've done to this point. They have laid excellent groundwork in preparation for the next stage of the process. And while that continues, I look forward to continuing to serve with and among you. I would refer you to the Report of Ministries, which begins on page 8 of the business docket. There you can see the many ways that the Christian Church in Kentucky continues to serve and to bless the ministries of clergy and congregations in the region. I won't enumerate what you can read, but I pray that you see in that report, as I do, the love and care that the regional staff has for the congregations, clergy, and constituencies that make up the region. I am blessed to work with and to lead an outstanding staff of ministers and administrative professionals in carrying out this work. Throughout the, my ministry with you, the region has been in a partnership with the Christian Church in Ohio. Beginning in January 2019, the Christian Church in Kentucky joined with the Indiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia regions to provide regional ministry support to Ohio's disciples while they continue their search for a regional pastor. I've worked with clergy and congregations in southern Ohio, and I've served as staff to their Commission on Ministry. Ohio pays a stipend to each of the partner regions for this service, and you can see in the financial reports how this has blessed the resources for ministry available to Kentucky. The agreement is scheduled to end on December 31st, but the Ohio region may request an extension while they complete their search. Counting Kentucky and Ohio, I have served in interim regional ministry in four regions, and it should come as no surprise that this one is different from any other. The COVID-19 pandemic created disruptions that none of us could have anticipated. Immediately, the regional staff began working from home. We restricted our travel, probably the, the biggest change for me. I've told more than one person that I don't think I know how to do this job without getting in my car. But we've all had to figure out how to do things differently. These changes have caused us to begin examining how we utilize the Red Mile Road office facility. The pandemic led us to cancel several events, including summer programs at Camp Wakandahoe and Camp Kumbaya. These have been difficult decisions. But in every case, I believe we made the decision in the best interest of our campers, camp staff, and the many volunteers that make our camp program successful. Needless to say, it put a strain on the finances at both camps, which depend on having campers for the bulk of their revenue. However, it provided new opportunities to work together. During a project to replace the siding on the Billy Williams Lodge at Camp Kumbaya, mold was discovered and remediation would be expensive, but it had to be done. The area and regional leaders got together and formed a plan of action. The area launched a fundraising campaign. The region committed $25,000 in matching funds from the camp endowment, and the region also opened a line of credit with church extension so that immediate expenses could be handled. Thanks to the generosity and commitment of individuals and churches in the West area, the money was raised in a very short period of time. The repair and remediation is completely paid for, and the region never had to draw on the line of credit. It was possible and successful because area and regional leadership worked together. As the pandemic pushed worship out of our sanctuaries, we, we figured out how to live stream. We've developed more Zoom expertise than we ever thought we would need. Drive-in worship, we're doing it. We're innovative, we are creative, and we've learned to draw on resources that we had but maybe didn't know about. Search committees have continued to do their work, and eight congregations in the region have extended calls to new pastors since March. I've witnessed creativity, I've seen innovation. 
We've found a new willingness to experiment and to learn. We've come together and drawn on one another's experiences. I've seen how a crisis like COVID-19 can bring out the best in us. At the same time, I've also seen how it can bring out some of the worst in us. The pandemic, new calls for racial justice and political tensions have amplified divisions in our society and culture. Those tensions and divisions then spill over into the congregation and when that happens, the pastor is usually caught in the crossfire. As one pastor said to me, I'm becoming aware of divisions in my church that I never knew were there. Still, I find myself grateful for those congregations that through it all have continued to serve, to find ways to make a difference for the people in their community. I give thanks when congregations recognize that everyone's voice matters, that authority is not vested in a powerful few, and that often loving my neighbor means giving up some of what I want. In times of stress and anxiety, we have a tendency to turn inward. We're tempted to look to ourselves. What's best for me? What do I want? When that happens, we lose sight of our community, both the community within the congregation and the community where the congregation is called to serve. We are the Christian Church in Kentucky. 205 congregations that stretch from Bardwell to Pikeville. Many different congregations serving diverse communities. We are disciples of Christ, a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. We grow from the roots of a movement planted on our own soil that claims Christian unity as its polar star. We will not, however, organize our way into Christian unity. We most certainly will not vote our way into unity. We will not even agree our way into Christian unity. We will love our way into unity. Our unity comes from the obedience to the command to love one another as Christ has loved us. Our unity grows from the ways we love our neighbors as ourselves. Our unity comes from having the same mind in us that was in Christ Jesus. Kentucky Disciples, I am deeply thankful for the opportunity you have given me to serve with and among you. Thank you for letting me see what we can be. I will continue to hold you in my mind, my heart, and my prayers as we serve together in the coming months.